Hi guys, this is Nadia Andreva, and today I have a dear guest and we have great news to share with you. I want to introduce you to James Maskell, who is the host and founder of the Functional Forum, New York City's biggest meetup and live show for doctors, broadcast to the world via web. And you have been invited to a few of the shows um, in the spring, so I do, I do hope that you had a chance to see um, James in action. James is also a CEO and the founder of Revive Primary Care and the host of the upcoming Evolution of Medicine Summit, which is going to be happening September 8th through the 15th, and it features 40 world leaders in health and medicine. So James, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. Um, I really can't wait to hear more about the summit and invite everyone to join. Um, so the Evolution of Medicine Summit um, is happening for the first time this year and it's already getting lots of media and attention. I know that you're going to be on Huffington Post Live several days. So Tell us, why is it getting so much attention? Why is it going to be so popular? Well, thanks, Nadia, for having me. It's great to be here and, and share this with you. You know, uh, the cool thing for me is that it's meant a, the evolution of medicine has meant different things to different people, and that's all been interesting and exciting around this time. You know, some people are really interested in evolutionary concepts like paleo and so forth. People are now interested in, you know, our evolution with microbes and your work with, uh, you know, the microbiome and, and that side of it. But also, I think people realize that there has to be an evolution of medicine because wellness and medicine have not really been connected. Connected, You know, uh, preventing disease and being well has not been a part of medicine, but I think it's obvious that if we want to have a sustainable system, we need to, you know, we need to uh, bring everything together. And then the piece that sort of is the most interesting and, and timely is also this health uh, health technology explosion where essentially, you know, everyone by October, maybe everyone's wearing an eye watch and, you know, medicine looks very different because there are all these different touch points. And so what we're looking to do with the evolution of medicine is just just hear from practitioners, doctors, experts, researchers, technologists, people who are at the forefront of this evolution of medicine and make it easy for everyone to stay up to date. Love it. Um, I know that the summit will be covering a whole range of topics, but there's a heavy focus on functional medicine, diet, and nutrition. Um, yeah. why, why did you choose to focus on that? Well, I think diet and nutrition are obviously areas where we have a lot of, um, where we have a, a serious amount of leverage to be able to create better health outcomes. I mean, it's absolutely clear that what we eat, you know, can really uh, determine our health outcomes. And so that's a huge piece of, of why we wanted to look at it. But functional medicine is really the operating system for a more evolved medical system. There are things about functional medicine, you know, it's systems orientated, it empowers the patients, it's individual in nature. You know, to me, this is really the only strategy that's going to work to be able to really understand the causes of chronic disease, treat those causes, and, and understand health from a cause perspective. And, you know, there are, there are various other things going on in the functional medicine world that are sort of showing that this is going to be the future of chronic disease management. And so that's why we have such a strong focus in the summit. Good. And I do think a lot is in our own hands. So empowering the patient is a very dear topic to me. Yeah. Um, so I know that in the summit you have presentations that discuss poor dietary habits as being one of the four major causes of chronic disease. Tell us about the other three causes of, um, that are important. Absolutely. Well, uh, not only are they in the summit, but actually ahead of the summit, when you sign up you uh, with free re registration, there's uh, four talks on these four causes. Diet is a huge one. The other three that we've identified are things not only that can cause and do cause chronic disease, but also things that each of us have um, an ability to modify with our daily lives and our lifestyle. So obviously stress is a huge one. Diet and stress are probably the two that people are most uh, most familiar with or already most on top of. The other two are a slightly you know, newer science. One is, is chronic toxicity. So, you know, we're very familiar with acute toxicity, um, but, but chronic toxicity, low-level toxicity, toxicity building up over time is definitely a proven cause of chronic disease. And so we're going to be looking at that. 
And then the fourth uh, one is immunity. And when I say immunity, I mean the new science on our understanding of the microbiome and understanding our very synergistic relationship with all forms of microbes. And we'll be going deep into that area. Uh, but also immunity in terms of your gut health. And, you know, as you know, with Happy Belly, and I'm sure all the people that are listening to this know, you know, the best way to avoid autoimmune disease or a range of chronic diseases is to have a happy belly. And that's just a reflection of the ongoing um, evolution of science about gastrointestinal disease. And so that's why it's such a great fit. And that's why we really focus on that. So immunity, toxicity, uh, diet, and stress are the four that we're going to focus on. Yeah, and all of them are such important and big topics, um, especially toxicity, because we are exposed to toxins throughout everyday life without even being aware of it. And as you said, it does affect our body. So guys, I'm really excited for you to learn um, about that particular topic and about digestion and about gut bugs uh, from the best functional medicine practitioners. Um, so the last question is, um, from what I understand, the summit has presentation for doctors and health professionals. Yeah. So normally this information is only shared exclusively with doctors at medical conferences. Why did you make this information accessible to everyone? For but, free. Yeah, well, look, I, I just feel like what we're trying to do is reduce the barriers to entry for anyone to get this information. Just think about how inefficient it is for doctors to be told certain things, only some of them listen. You know, it, it takes 17 years for new science to be able to actually make it into medicine. Yeah, but we don't, we don't have 17 years. In 17 years time, you know, the, the, the costs of the current healthcare system that we have are going to bankrupt America and every Western country. So our goal is really just to accelerate this evolution of medicine by making it available because the truth is, is that we need a greater level of transparency between patients and doctors so that basically everyone, um, you know, can understand their role. The doctors are going to play a similar role to what they played before. They're the experts. They can help you to individualize it and really make it work for you. But a lot of the work in an evolved medical system if you really want a patient-centered medical system, which I think a lot of us want, it implies that the patient actually has to be involved. And yes. so part of the reason why we're bringing it to both is to be able to teach doctors and, uh, and patients to be able to say, here's a, a new empowered model for the future of medicine. Here are your different roles to play. Go at it. And we're already seeing amazing improvements um, you know, with all kinds of chronic and autoimmune diseases through better self-care, through better strategies, through community and engagement and support, peer support, accountability. And so those are the kind of things that we're going to be talking about. And for the doctors, we have one day that's specific to them on the, on the clinical side. And we also have a day for them on the practical side. You know, there, there are innovators who are making it easy for this type of medicine to be delivered in a modern medical environment, which has not always been the case with insurance and so forth. And so we're looking at innovators that are bringing this type of medicine practically to the masses. And that's what we really need. And so that's why we're fe featuring them as well. Love it. So how do people sign up? So I'm sure you'll be sending them the details, yes. Nadia. I really appreciate you know your support. Um, Nadia and I, for those of you who know, Nadia and I met um, earlier this year, just when the Happy Belly book was on its way to be coming out, and Nadia came to the Functional Forum and uh, heard Dr. Larry Polevsky, and I'm really excited for everyone to listen to his talk. It's on the Wednesday of the summit. But yeah, sign up. You get a bunch of uh, sort of uh, free gifts when you sign up two initial talks, one by Jeff Bland and the other one by Tom Blue, which I would really encourage you to listen to if, you, if you're a payer of healthcare, if you're paying for your own healthcare or if you work at a business where you're paying, you know, where you're a CEO or otherwise, we need to access that level as well to really understand that the proof of this type of medicine has been played out. It's making significant value uh, proposition for every business that's taking it on. And, you know, we look at that as well. So, yeah, sign up from your link from Nadia. Come to the Evolution of Medicine Summit. It starts September 8th. And we look forward to welcoming your, uh, your tribe into ours. 
Yes, so guys, make sure to sign up with the link that's going to be right below the video and you'll have access to the most amazing cutting edge information. And James, thank you so much for bringing it uh, to us and making it available and accessible to everyone. Well, thanks for your support, Nadia, and look forward to many more years of collaboration. <laughs> yes. Bye, guys. Bye.